I'll use the Harbor Freight 40 pound soda blaster and uh, that I just picked up. And after using the soda blaster, I noticed that there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a crack right there where I guess the bolt that was in here was tightened too much and it's split. So I'm going to weld it. You can see it right there. It's a pretty good split. And you can get your nail in there. And it travels all the way up. So I'm going to put a weld and I'll weld that. This is a crack here I was talking about. It's um, it's a pretty good size crack for that metal bent. So I'm going to be welding welding that back up there. So I sanded all the rust off so I get a good uh, metal contact. But then I did the other side and another one. This twisted or wasn't supported. I mean, I restored this tractor that uses the same frame members and uh, that that never happened on the 416 never had that issue with uh, with that piece that piece is right in here underneath here like I thought you know this this 520h has 799 hours on it and um, it was it was a farm tractor and it was beat it was absolutely beat I mean see the previous videos and you'll see all the oil and grease and burnt up pulleys I mean if you wouldn't think a tractor with only 800 hours on it would be in that rough shape but it's in bad shape so as you can see we've they could have been jumping this thing for all I know but we're gonna get that taken care of See what we got here. Pull this out. So as I said earlier, here's the here's the pulley, and this is what it should look like. Okay, it's about a four-inch round pulley, good size pulley, on a shaft, and you'll notice the the, the bushing. Okay, that's. Here's what they did. They let the bearing fail. This goes inside the tractor. The pulley would actually be down here. The bearing fails and the pulley wears into the nut that's holding it. And as you can see, I showed in the other video, you can see where the pulley outlined is there, right? It puts such strain on the end, it actually cut a groove. I don't know if you can see that. But that groove has got to be a sixteenth of an inch deep, if not almost an eighth of an inch deep. But it really is amazing what you find on these tractors and how people abuse $5,000 pieces of equipment. It's beyond me. But I guess that's why a guy like me restores them. So next, I'll start working on this piece tomorrow. And uh, once I get that all situated, then I'll be ready to start applying paint and putting it back together.